Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the histories, meanings, and contexts of the words we use every day. And you're in luck, because today's word is free. Adjective. Without hindrance, obstruction, restriction, or regulation. Also, given without cost or gratis. History and etymology. The word that would eventually become free in English had a very different meaning all the way back in Proto-Indo-European. The Proto-Indo-European word pria meant one's own or beloved, and its root pri meant to love. I was especially struck by the almost contradictory meaning of one's own. That seems to imply ownership, which is often considered the opposite of free. Free is another great example of how words change over time. For example, when Priya moved into Sanskrit as Priye, it kept the P sound at the beginning. When it moved into Proto-Germanic, though, the P sound at the beginning morphed from a bilabial stop, a sound made by closing your lips together and releasing the air behind them, to a labiodental fricative, or F, sound, which is made by partially blocking the flow of air by putting your lower lip to your upper teeth. This is how we got from the Proto-Indo-European Priya to the Proto-Germanic Friha. Around the same time as the sound change, the word began to be used in another sense. It still meant dear or beloved, but it also began being used to mean not in bondage. This transformation in meaning seems to have come about because the free people in a clan or a family around this time were related by blood. Or to go back to the Proto-Indo-European definition, one's own blood or beloved family member. This would be opposed to a slave or servant who were not related by blood or kinship, who were not free. And when free entered Old English as freo, it already had the meaning of not in servitude and had lost most of its meaning of beloved. Though in some cases, it was used to describe people of noble birth. Other words were derived from the same origin in English. Some of these are Friday. Friday is named after the Norse god Frigg, whose name means beloved. And friend comes from the Old English Freod and the Proto-Germanic Freyand. But how the word free came to mean without charge or gratis in English is another story. I found dates that put this usage originating around 1580, or even as early as 1200. But none of these sources really did a great job explaining how it acquired this meaning from out of bondage or not being in bondage. Through a bunch of logical leaps and searching for terms like gratis or free, I was reminded of a phrase, he got off scot-free. I looked up scot-free in the Oxford English Dictionary, and one look at the etymology and it clicked in my brain. It said, apparently an alteration of shot free. Shot was the connection that made it click in my brain. That took me back to when I read Mark Twain's Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. At one point in the story, Mark Twain attempts to create a fictional etymology for the English phrase, paying the shot. The main character, creates a currency where you carry around small round pellets in a container on your belt and you can dispense them easily to make change or to pay for goods and because these pellets look like buckshot or birdshot used in a shotgun he called them shots. This was of course all made up there was no time traveling American back in medieval England but what the shot and shot free actually referred to was the portion somebody had to pay for a collective entertainment or a collective tab of some nature in a bar or tavern. Kind of like a cover charge in a bar today. To get off scot-free or shot-free was to leave without paying your fair share of the scot or the cost. 
over time, you can imagine bar owners advertising shot-free entertainment and eventually dropping shot or scot from the signage or from the verbiage, and it would leave you with free entertainment, meaning without charge or gratis. That seems to be why in English, free has two different meanings. It's the difference between free speech and free beer. Prescription and commentary. Speaking of free beer, while I was trying to find the origin of the uh, gratis definition of free, I came across this great little website, freebeer.org. It's an open source beer. The idea is that the recipe for this beer is like open source software. It's free to use, you can make your own beer using this recipe, and you can even sell it. So it's free beer at a cost. Or you could give it away and it's free, free beer. It was created to point out this little hiccup in the English language. Where the free in free beer, this free beer, refers to freedom. You can do what you want with this beer recipe. The only thing they ask is that you share and share alike. I've put a link to freebeer.org in the description. On a slightly more serious note, I thought about covering all sorts of things in the prescription and commentary portion of this video. Everything from free speech and freedom in general to free tuition and free health care. But I think those would better be covered in their own separate videos. For this video, I want to use it to build upon. So I think the most important things to point out are the two different meanings of free. Free as in freedom freedom of speech, freedom of association, being free or liberated, out of bondage, no longer in bondage, and free as in giving stuff away for free, and getting away free, like getting away without punishment, like in Scott Free. That's what I think is important. One other thing I wanted to point out is the relationship of free to its original meaning in Proto-Indo-European meaning beloved, like a child or a lover. Free and freedom, our freedoms, our free speech, free association, all need to be protected like it's something that we love and care for deeply. When the word free is being used in its out-of-bondage definition, you can imagine it meaning almost beloved. And you can kind of see where I'm going in one of my upcoming videos about the word freedom, because that word breaks down into free doom. If you go watch my previous video about the word doom, you can kind of see about where I'm going with that. And it's also important to look at what it means when you're getting something for free. It means you're getting away with something. You are putting the bill onto somebody else. And I think I'm going to cover that in the scot-free sense when I cover other things like uh, free tuition and free healthcare if I ever get to those videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like. And if you enjoy this kind of exploration of the words we use every day, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like more information about this word and links to my sources, follow the link in the description below to the blog post for this word. And you know, as they say, Nothing's free. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can also follow the link in the description to find ways you can support the project. And until next time, keep on learning!